I nominated Abby to be a patient hero because I would like to help raise awareness for GPA. Um, Abby fought very hard to come back practically from the brink of death. Um, she was so brave and she persevered through so much and she really is my hero. Um, for me, it started with joint pain, a sore throat, and I ended up going to my pediatrician and getting blood work and my rheumatoid and inflammatory markers were high. So we had an appointment about three weeks away with a pediatric rheumatologist and um, from there, everything just started to get worse and worse. My chest started hurting and it felt almost heavy. So my mom um, set me up with, a, with an appointment at our pediatric walk-in and there they checked my pulse ox, which was at 90. So I was um, sent to the ER by ambulance and there they thought I had the rhinovirus and which they thought I should have been kicking fine, except um, I obviously wasn't. So then I was ambulanced to a hospital about an hour and a half away. And there they put in a pick line and I was on um, a high flow oxygen and a BiPAP oxygen mask. And there, um, since my oxygen wasn't getting any better, I was also intubated. And they wanted to do ECMO at a hospital that was about another hour away. And there they realized that my lungs were bleeding and I got a plasmapheresis, blood transfusions, chest x-rays almost every day, um, a ton of labs and blood work. So as a result of all of that, I was um, unable to eat and I lost about 20 pounds and um, I had a feeding tube so I could eat. After being in the PICU in that hospital for, I think, two weeks. Also, I was intubated for about two weeks. And then um, I was transported to PEDS. And um, there, they almost had, like, no idea, like, what I had gone through. So they expected me to eat, drink, walk, sit up. And I obviously couldn't do all that stuff yet. And... So, and I had to learn how to do all that stuff again, and I had to learn how to swallow, and um, I had to chew food to the consistency of oatmeal so that I could swallow it safely, which is something you wouldn't expect, and walking and sitting up and standing up was also very exhausting, and um, took a lot of time to gain back, but it's definitely worth it. My family has been very helpful with this, especially my sister. Um... She has been by my side um, for as long as I can remember. And in the hospital, she drew me pictures to hang up around my room to make it more decorated and pretty to look at. And um, she would do online school with me just to help me out with stuff. And she really just has been such an amazing sister to me throughout this whole entire thing. My mom and dad have also been amazing and by my side this whole time. Today I'm doing much better and I'm getting treatments every six months of rituximab and just continue to get better and regain all my strength and get start getting to do the things that I like to do again. I am looking forward to our vacation in August um, to North Carolina and um, just to be on the basketball court again playing basketball because that's always been my favorite sport and just to simply hang out with my friends again. In the hospital I was motivated by my pets. Um, I was away from them for about two months which was the longest I'd ever been away from them so they were my motivation to like getting to go home and cuddle them and just love them again. So this disease has taught me to not take things for granted like walking or seeing my friends or even going to school. Um, it's very important to have a motivation because that will help you get through anything that you're going through. And, and perseverance is also an important one because that can very much help you in anything that you're going through.